for nonprofit auditing purposes. Ooh, I used to be a nonprofit auditor. Uh, do you recommend attaching receipts and documentation in QuickBooks and a shared drive or both? QuickBooks, QuickBooks, QuickBooks. And by that, I mean whatever you're using for your general ledger um, program, attach those receipts and documentation right in there. Do not duplicate your efforts by having them in the general ledger and in a shared drive or someplace else. Now, best of both worlds, you get a system like Smart Vault. Because some, uh, some people say, well, I don't want to attach them directly in QuickBooks because then what if we move to a different general ledger package? Okay, first of all, don't go general ledger hopping. It's a stupid hobby. Secondly, with a solution like Smart Vault, it integrates with QuickBooks, but the documents are located on Smart Vault servers and not, um, not where your QuickBooks file is. So using a service like Smart Vault and integrating that into your QuickBooks file is a nice um, medium if you need that. But if you're not gonna go accounting system hopping and you're fine with having everything in QuickBooks, that's just great. Just remember that if you're using QuickBooks desktop and if it's being synchronized across multiple computers with Qbox, then you have to pay extra to get a, another um, shared folder in Qbox so the documents also synchronize. Because if you're attaching the documents in QuickBooks desktop and then you send a backup to the auditor, the documents will not go with it. The documents are in a separate folder wherever your um, QuickBooks file is housed. So if you're using a, um, a hosting platform for QuickBooks desktop like Right Networks, then create a login for your auditor. Remember, don't violate Right Networks terms of service by having people share Right Networks logins. Create a login for your auditor while the audit is underway. It costs $50 a month, you're getting an audit. Spring for the 50 bucks a month times a couple of months. Have the auditor have access, they'll have access to all the backup documentation. And here, if you're if you're saying, oh, she's spring, saying spring for it, what does she know? I'll tell you what, um, we've been able to negotiate a reduction in audit costs and the auditors were only too happy to provide that kind of a discount because the audit became so easy, all the documentation was there. So you can actually get an ROI on having a service like this, you know, getting, um, if it's Qbox, Right Network, if you're using QuickBooks Online, then it doesn't cost anything more to give your auditor um, an invitation to your file. But yes, absolutely attach the documents to the transactions in your general ledger and give the auditor direct access to that file.